to Steve Taylor's High School Stars of the Week. I'm Nick Marconi here with Steve Taylor, Tom Cole, and Terry Crosby. And we got an exciting show for you today. We're going to be focusing on athletics, academics, and extracurricular activities. Guys, take it away. Hey, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to another edition of Steve Taylor's High School Stars of the Week. Nick is right. We've got a great show in store. It is March Madness. Yep. You guys uh, been going to town. Your bracket's still good. No, my eyes, it's not worth two dead flies. <laughs> <laughs> you know, hey, I'm right there with you, man. Too many bracket busters, though, right? All the upsets. Yes, yes. <laughs> I, I, it's funny, though, when you we were just chatting off here, you, you guys were talking about a center from Loyola yeah. Yeah, that you like to watch play. And then I was telling Terry earlier in Michigan, you, everybody finds a team that they kind of have a little identity with. Yep. I love the way Michigan plays. They play the game inside out where you dump it into the seven-footer, they surround him, he kicks it out to an open three. Most people play, as Cross knows, outside yes. in yeah, today. Yeah, yeah, Everything yeah. is just cast a three-pointer. Yeah. Michigan plays the right way. They're fun to watch. Well, it, uh, they got a good coach, too, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Old school. I mean, yes, he knows yes. the Fab Five. Yeah. He, he knows a couple things about the tournament. And then, Cross, I'm figuring when he talks, they listen, <laughs> right? Oh, yeah. He, he, he's a great coach. I mean, he, yeah. he relates so well with his players. You know yeah. what I mean? They do whatever he asks them to yeah. do. So. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Well, it'll be fun watching this Sweet 16 yeah. because how many high seeds are in this, you know, the, the yes. round of 16? I mean, I don't know if they've ever had this many. I can't remember seeing so many upsets early right. on. So yeah. it'll be fun. It's anybody's uh, tournament. It's right? coming down to the wire, yeah. boss. It'll be good. <laughs> hey, we're going to jump in here. we got a great show. We're going to start off over at Southview High School where we've got a talented young man. Om uh, his name is Amon Omer. Yes. And the, this is crazy. When I saw what you put down here, what I, I guess we should ask, what doesn't he do? Yeah, and, and I think it's so cool, Steve, and Terry, I know feels the same way, that you allow the stars to be honored, not just great athletes, but kids that are involved in extracurricular activities, whether it's uh, whether it's uh, music or right. student senate or whatever. And Amon's got, uh, well, let's just see, he's in the string section with the violin, so he's an accomplished uh, violinist. Uh, he does speech, he does debate, he does student senate. And oh, by the way, Terry, uh, I think, I could be wrong, but I think his grade point is pretty good. Is that correct? Yes, that's right, Tom. A yeah, 4.5 grade point average, you know. <laughs> if you took so, the three of us. Uh, yes. I knew and added our cubes. I knew it was coming. <laughs> if you took the three of us and added our cubes, I say we come under 4.5. <laughs> yes, and that's grade school, college, <laughs> and high school, okay? <laughs> Uh, shoot, and let's not forget, I think he's a talented uh, tennis player, too, yeah. right? Yeah, 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 so, I mean, this guy is doing everything. We love recognizing students like this. Like you said, he's involved in all yeah. sorts of things and uh, definitely a well-rounded uh, young man. Hey, we're going to stick in Sylvania, but we're going to go over to Northview High School where we've got Peyton Stremmel, another incredibly talented musician. Yeah, and, you know, I, I find it so interesting because usually you just do something you're good at, what we had talked about. But, um, but Peyton is doing choir jazz band, and Cross, uh, she's doing some other things. Oh, yeah, uh, absolutely. You, you know what? She's in the marching band, too. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? Which is a great thing. And the pep band. And the pep band. And what I admire about this, boss, I'm so glad, grateful that you allow us to do it. It's, not, it's just not basketball, football, right. baseball. Right. Yep. You asked us to seek out people that's doing outstanding things in all different types yeah, of areas. Right. And, and that's great. Yep. So great job coming out of... Northview High School in Sylvania. Mm -hmm. Hey, we're going to move over to the hard court since it's March Madness. We still have to talk about some basketball. So we're going to go over to yes. Notre Dame. We got Olivia Sims yeah. and a fantastic basketball player coming out of Notre Dame Academy. Been a great basketball player at her school. Her, guys, her career record as a starter there, she's been 84 and 16. That's, uh, <laughs> that's pretty good. Her career, she averages 12 points, four rebounds, and two assists for the entire season. Mm -hmm. That's special. She's yeah. a, that tells you... She's consistent, right. she shows up every game, and you can put it in the book when the okay. game starts. She's going to get her 12, yep. she's going to get her 4, and she's going to get her 3. And across, that means a lot. And, and you know what's our magic word? stick to Yes. And she has done that uh, yes. throughout her whole career. Uh, freshman year, she learned, started as a sophomore, yep. started yep. as a junior, started as a senior. Fantastic. Yep. I, I love yep. stories like that. Great story for sure. Yes. We're going to wrap things up with uh, Start High School sticking on the hard court. Here we got uh, Caleb Wanamaker. And uh, you want to talk about somebody that can put some points up on the board. Caleb has shown that. Well, I let Cross uh, talk to him uh, about his points because Cross understands points. Uh, but he did have two games this season. I'll let you in a little bit about his scoring ability. Cross, he had 39 in one and 33 in another. 
that's Crosby territory yeah. when you're putting, you know, 30 plus on the board. Yeah. You know, and a cross in a boys high school game. Yes. It, they don't they don't go that long, right? So that that's a big and deal. You know, T, uh, I just have to tell Lena what you just said. The, the most amazing thing about that, you can score a lot of points. Yeah. But if you don't win the game, nobody yeah. really cares. Yeah. And the thing I the thing I like about this young man, he's a score, he scored a lot of points this year. And that start ended up 15 and 4 yeah. uh, on the season. And they made so, it to the D1 regionals. And made yeah. it to the yeah. D1 regionals. So start that's, high school. Yes. Yeah. Great job. Great job to everybody on that start team, right? Yes. Can't stop start. I like that. I like yeah. that. Can't stop start. That could be a motto for you. You may have been oh, wait a minute. That's been around a long time. No point at me. I remember back in the day. Can't when you stop hear that, start. Right? I like that. So, hey, thanks for tuning in to another fun and exciting edition, a March Madness edition of Steve Taylor's High School Stars of the Week. We appreciate everybody that's sending in nominees and recommendations for our show. Keep it up. And also, big shout out to Marco's Pizza. We're enjoying those pizzas while we are watching some March Madness. Tune in next week. Have a good one. We'll see you.